Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of everyone at Arkansas Tech University, let me begin this historic occasion by extending to you our greetings and welcome to all of those of you who have joined us to celebrate this truly significant moment. Special welcome to the Donald W. Reynolds Foundation Board of Trustees and their executive director. As I call your name, please stand so that we may recognize you. First, Mrs. Barbara Hanna of Fort Smith. Mrs. Hanna. Mr. Stephen Anderson of Fort Smith. Mr. John Shalareth of Little Rock. Mr. Joel Stubblefield of Fort Smith and our colleague in higher education. Mr. Neil Pendergraft of Fayetteville. Mr. Fred Smith, Chairman of the Foundation Board and Tech alum. Mr. Ross Pendergraft, Vice Chairman of the Board and Tech alum and today's honoree. Mr. Donald Prey, Executive Director of the Foundation from Tulsa, Oklahoma. I also want to introduce the Arkansas Tech University Board of Trustees. Mrs. Mary Ann Salmon, Chairperson. Mr. Johnny Chambers, Vice Chairperson. Mr. Dale Brown. Dr. Sean McDougall. We also have some former trustees with us today, Mr. Larry Mabry of Little Rock. Mr. Mabry, where are you? Mr. Johnny Morgan of Russellville, Mr. Morgan. I believe Dr. Stanley Teeter is with us, an ex-member of the Board of Trustees of Arkansas Tech University. Dr. Teeter? Do we have other former board members with us? Mr. Troy Burris, are you here? And is Jim Pledger with us? Hello, Jim. Other former board members. Special guests are the Pendergraft family, Mrs. Donnie Pendergraft, the wife of, wife of Mr. Ross Pendergraft, Mrs. Pendergraft. Laurie Pendergraft Myers, their daughter. Mr. Neil Pendergraft and his spouse are with us, I believe. Is that right? Mr. Pendergraft. Mrs. Pendergraft. We welcome the spouses of the Foundation Board and the spouses of our trustees. Numerous friends are with us on the campus today. Let me extend a special welcome to the 10th president of Arkansas Tech University, Dr. Kenneth Kirsch. Kenneth? We're gratified to have with us two members of the State Senate today, Senator Stanley Russ and a Tech alum, Senator Russ. Welcome, Stanley. Mr. Tom Kennedy, a Tech alumnus of the State Senate. Tom? State Representative Olin Cook, a former staff member here at Arkansas Tech University. Olin, thank you for being here. And Mr. Jerry Burns, the president of the Arkansas Tech University Endowment uh, Incorporated. Jerry? We also want to recognize some others. I want to recognize my family. Number one supporter for Arkansas Tech University is Mrs. Jill Brown. Jill, would you please stand? My family is also with me. My son, Hugh, a senior at Arkansas Tech University. My daughter, Martha, a sophomore at Arkansas Tech University. My son, John, who is a high school senior. And Hugh's special guest, Sarah Wingfield. Sarah, would you please stand? 
We also want to extend a warm welcome to Mr. Bill Limley, who is an officer of the Arkansas Tech University Endowment and Trust Fund. Mr. Limley, thank you for being here. We also have with us a number of very special people who are distinguished alumni and recipients of tonight's award ceremony who have traveled home to Tech to be a part of this celebration, and we extend our warmest welcome to you. To all of our other governmental officials, thank you for all that you continue to do for Arkansas Tech University and for our community. We want to recognize our architectural firm, AMR Incorporated. Uh, we especially are grateful for their contribution. There are two very special people here today who represent our faculty, Dr. Hilda Turner and Dr. Eldon Clary. Dr. Turner and Dr. Clary, where are you? Dr. Turner and Dr. Clary, please stand. Doctors Turner and Clary were very instrumental in helping the foundation staff to understand the priority placed by our faculty on this much needed facility for learning and technological advance. I also thank the members of our administrative team for their vision and their hard work in making today a reality. And finally, to all of you, our special guest, thank you for being here this afternoon to celebrate with us a pivotal moment in the life of this great institution. What a joyous occasion it is indeed for us to break ground on such a far-reaching facility. The Ross Pendergraft Library and Technology Center will focus our future endeavors as we seek to meet the challenges that are coming with the new millennium just a few short years away. It will change how we as faculty provide academic instruction how we address the academic and technological needs of students of the future. It will assist us as we continue to attract and educate the future leaders of Arkansas and beyond. Plans for this facility include technological advances that are challenges for us even to imagine today. The $12.4 million challenge gift to Arkansas Tech will give Tech and the community and the whole region a signal advantage. This learning show place will be a technological landmark for all of North Central Arkansas. It will be a pivotal link with the global marketplace and the learning centers throughout the world. Mr. Donald W. Reynolds, who established the Donald W. Reynolds Foundation, was an entrepreneur and a pioneer in the American communication industry and founder of the Don Ray Media Group. This foundation, in a very short period of time, has become one of the largest foundations in our country. The Ross Pendergraft Library and Technology Center will mirror the entrepreneurial energies of Mr. Reynolds and his team, which includes Mr. Fred Smith and Mr. Ross Pendergraft, two of Tech's very own. To the Donald W. Reynolds Foundation, thank you so much for understanding our vision. A new library has been needed by our community for almost two decades now. Little did we dream that such a response from you would create the marvelous opportunity for Arkansas Tech University to partner with you to serve our future students, our alumni, our community, our state, and our region. Mr. Pendergraft, what you experienced many years ago as a student on the Arkansas Tech campus helped to take you from the world of Abbott, Arkansas to the world beyond through Don Ray Media. Your alma mater is sincerely grateful for your past contributions, your dedication to the present, and your vision for the future. We at Tech are so very proud to call you and Fred Smith our very own. This lasting contribution from both of you and from the Reynolds Foundation Board of Trustees establishes a new and permanent relationship that will benefit so many for such a very long period of time. As a result of this gift, Arkansas Tech University surely has its best days ahead, and its future is indeed bright because of all of you and the Reynolds Foundation. On behalf of the entire university community, I offer our most sincere and heartfelt thanks. Let's express our thanks to the Reynolds Foundation trustees.
Now, I want to introduce to you Mrs. Mary Ann Salmon of North Little Rock, Arkansas, the chairperson of the Arkansas Tech Board of Trustees. Mrs. Salmon. Thank you, Dr. Brown, foundation members <laughs> and board members and friends of Arkansas Tech. I feel very privileged to be here today with the Arkansas Tech community and the Donald W. Reynolds Foundation to share a reality <laughs> for a vision of a world-class learning center. To explain just what an awesome experience this is for me, I need to tell you a little about where I'm coming from. I grew up in Waldron, Arkansas in the late 50s and early 60s, and our greatest modes of communication were the radio and the telephone. And I can remember when we finally had two televisions in Waldron, and our next door neighbor happened to have one of those. And it was a treat for me to, to go over there and watch Liberace play the piano with all the snow on the screen in black and white and dream of someday being a concert pianist myself. I also remember right after I got married, my father and my father-in-law talking about all the changes they had seen in the last 30 years. Well, they hadn't seen anything yet. Today, as we break ground for this new facility, the Arkansas Tech community and the Donald W. Reynolds, w. Reynolds Foundation will also become partners with the citizens of this region to link this university and its people that it serves with our technological world of today and the global opportunities of tomorrow. Pride in Arkansas Tech has been a great tradition for the students who have prepared for their future here. And we've had lots for which to be proud. But I must share with you that no other program can possibly mean as much to the future of this institution as this visionary gift means to Arkansas Tech University. And what makes this challenge gift so special <coughs> and even better is the opportunity to name this facility and honor one of our very own Ross Pendergraft. Ross, for decades to come, the Pendergraft Library and Technological Center will be a reminder that you, through the gift of the Donald W. Reynolds Foundation, took pride in and said thank you to Arkansas Tech. On behalf of the Arkansas Tech Board of Trustees, the alumni, the staff and faculty, the administration, and especially for all the students who choose to come here and learn and grow. We say a resounding and most sincere thank you. We sincerely appreciate your thoughtful generosity. Thank you, Ms. Salmon. Ross, the Arkansas Tech University Men's Quartet is under the direction of Professor Ray Wheeler, and they're coming now to present a tribute to you. Gentlemen. Mr. Pendergraph, we, we heard through the grapevine that a serious song at this point would be inappropriate uh, in keeping with your own musical taste. <laughs> So uh, this song is sung uh, with a great deal of love, but it is a little bit like nachos. It is both corny and cheesy, but it comes right from our heart. This is to a, an old tune uh, that Elvis made famous, uh, Love Me Tender, with uh, some uh, different words to it. <clears throat> Library will be so nice, a 
nothing will really prize. We promise you will study hard. You'll see our great points rise. So thanks to you, Ross Pendergraft, and the Reynolds Foundation Board. We want to say at ATU, you really are adored. So let us raise a grand tech cheer, you'll never be Instead of a parking lot. And Ray, let me assure you, you still have a chance at tenure after that performance. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's join in our ceremonial groundbreaking. Ross? Freya? Ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you Mr. Fred Smith, the Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Donald W. Reynolds Foundation. Mr. Smith. Thank you, Dr. Brown. It's certainly a pleasure for me to be here today. As a matter of fact, it's kind of a three-pleasure day for me. First, I went to school here 
it's always good to come back to the place where I started my college career and spent a year of my life. But you remember our deal, Dr. Brown. You sealed the transcript and the records and they're not available for public view. <laughs> Secondly, it's a sincerely a pleasure to be here today to share the podium with my good friend and longtime associate, Ross Pendergraf. While Ross and I were not here at the same time as students, as we have shared our experiences at Tech over the years together, it's <coughs> obvious that we both enjoyed our time here. Some of those experiences we might not share with you. Unfortunately, Travis Adams was here when I was here, so I hope he will also be a little bit discreet in his discussions about our time at Tech. Ross, I know you're proud, as I am, that the university has chosen to name the library in your honor and to recognize you for your many contributions to the society over the years. You deserve this recognition and I applaud the university for honoring you today. Not many people realize this, but Ross actually has the distinction, and I'm sure the pleasure, of having served with the Don Ray Media Group for longer than I did. My career with Don Ray began in 1951, but Ross's actually began three years earlier. I've often attributed the fact that, that to the fact that Ross got to tech before me, and as a result, got smarter quicker than I did. Ross is a very special person to me, and I'm honored to be able to participate in today's ceremonies. A third reason why this is so special is that I'm on a site to witness firsthand the results of the Reynolds Foundation. You know, there's an old adage that goes like this. You make a living by what you, what you get, you make a life by what you give. Certainly Don Reynolds made a good living as the owner and chief executive officer of the Don Ray Media Group. But he made a good life for what he gave back to the many communities that his company served. He started the Reynolds Foundation in 1954 and was keenly interested in seeing that this financial resources went to worthwhile causes that would truly make a difference. Today the foundation is the 23rd largest in the United States with assets of more than $1 billion. Thus far, the foundation has distributed more than $80 million to a number of projects, primarily in the states of Arkansas, Oklahoma, and Nevada. We as trustees take our charge seriously and look with pride over projects like the one we are again here today. We have broken ground on a library and technological center that will indeed make a difference a difference in the lives of many Arkansas Tech students. What a wonderful way to invest our dollars in young people who strive to better themselves. This facility will be state of the art and will be a proud addition to the projects that the foundation has been privileged to support. Yes, today is special for Arkansas Tech, for Ross, and for the foundation, and I'm happy to play a small role. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Smith. The president of the Student Government Association at Arkansas Tech University is Miss Amy Hurt, a senior from Greenwood, Arkansas. Amy, would you come forward, please? <laughs> Mr. Pendergraf, Amy has a presentation to make to you. On behalf of the students in the Student Government Association at Arkansas Tech University, we'd like to thank you for your undying support as alumnus of the university by presenting you with this plaque. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you today's honoree, Mr. Ross Pendergraf. Ross? Thank you, Dr. Brown. Mary Ann, I know about Waldron. I grew up in Abbott. Abbott is uh, the outskirts of Waldron by about 10 miles, and Waldron was the county seat. We used to go to the county seat 
and buy everything we needed because they didn't have anything in Abbott. Well, I'll take that back. We did have one telephone. It was located at the general store, and the ring was two longs and a short. <laughs> Everyone, and that's where we got our first experience at public speaking. You'd go use a telephone, and everyone that had a phone was on the line listening to what you had to say. Today is a great day for me. It's a great day for Arkansas Tech, and it's a great day for the Foundation. Arkansas Tech was an exciting place to be back in the fall of 1946. The campus was home to a number of World War II veterans like Wilson Matthews and a few other reprobates, and most of them had uh, served around the world and fought in some of the major battles, and most of us felt that we had personally won World War II, and we were not reluctant to tell you about that fact if you had just a few minutes. A number of the faculty members were also vets, and uh, I could tell you some stories about them, but you don't want to hear it. Uh, and so we had very little chance to do much to put anything over on those guys. Dardanelle, as some of the older people will remember, was the second most popular place next to the Arkansas Tech campus, and I won't go into the reasons for that. <laughs> I've often chuckled as I reminisce about the first job I had uh, when I came out of Arkansas Tech in 1948. I uh, came out in May and uh, looked for a job until the 24th of July and was finally hired by the Southwest Times Record in Fort Smith. Uh, the first morning on the job, the advertising director said, Ross, I want you to go down to Swift and & Company and, and get some tie-in mats. Uh, that presented two problems. <laughs> One, I didn't know where Swift & Company was located. And second, I didn't have the faintest idea of what a tie-in mat was. Well, the telephone directory resolved the first problem. I looked up Swift and & Company and found out where it was on Garrison Avenue. And uh, all the way down there, I walked down because that's the way you got around at the Southwest Times Record, you walked. Uh, I walked down there and all the way down I was praying that uh, Frank Foote would know what a tie-in mat was. And I walked in his office and I said, Mr. Fit, Mr. Foote, Mr. Huey wants me to pick up some tie-in mats. He said, sure, I have them right here in my desk. And he reached in and pulled out a dozen and handed them to me. And I, that taught me two lessons. First of all, I've always remembered to thank God for a prayer and for the telephone directory. <laughs> when I seriously analyzed my business career, and the ability to tackle that first assignment and the sub subsequent ones that were handed to me, I know that the preparation I received here at Arkansas Tech was in a large measure responsible for what success I've had in life. My time at Arkansas Tech was special, and I truly owe this institution a lot more than I will ever be able to repay. They helped me prepare for the world and for the work and for helping me provide, and helping provide me with the tools to make the decisions of life. Arkansas Tech is a special place today and a special time for me. To have a library named after me is beyond belief. And I want to thank all of the trustees of the Donald W. Reynolds Foundation for giving me this honor. I'm very humbled by all of this. To have the opportunity to continue one's education beyond high school is tremendously important. And I hope this library and technology center will, that we begin building today will provide many, many young people with the skills they need to be successful and to make the right decisions throughout the rest of their lives. The Reynolds Foundation, thanks to the generosity and the foresight of Donald W. Reynolds, hopes to continue serving the society for our society for many years to come. And uh, you have heard Mr. Smith say that there's a billion dollars out there, and even down in Abbott and Walden, that's a considerable amount of money. <laughs> and, uh, but 
I'm delighted to be a part of this today, and I want to say to the university and to the foundation, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Ross Pendergraft. Thank you. Our men's quartet will come forward now with the alma mater. Ray? You'll please stand and join us in singing the alma mater. <clears throat> Ray Elvis was never that good. Just remain standing, if you would, ladies and gentlemen. A few days ago, I had a telephone conversation with Mr. Prey of the Reynolds Foundation staff. And I said to Mr. Prey, the library gift that the Reynolds Foundation has given in honor of Ross Pendergraft has the power to transform Arkansas Tech University. And Mr. Prey said, Bob, transform is a powerful word. And I want you to know that I'm not a person normally given to hyperbole, but it is really true. For those of us that grew up in the age of the book, it is very, very difficult indeed to imagine the frontier that we're about to cross here at Arkansas Tech University. In future years, when people want to know where is the finest learning facility in Arkansas, all of you will be able to say, it's in my hometown of Russellville on the campus of Arkansas Tech University. For that, members of the Reynolds Foundation Board of Trustees, and most especially Ross Pendergraft, we thank you from the very bottom of our hearts, not only for us, but on behalf of those countless students that are going to walk through these halls in years to come. Ladies and gentlemen, let's express our appreciation to these folks one more time. Thank you. Thank you for coming, ladies and gentlemen, and good afternoon.